In this demonstration video, we will look at how to deploy Cloud Manager using Ansible. We're going to be looking at the uh, automation scripts that are on this GitHub site. It has both Ansible and Terraform. Um, for this video, we're going to look at Ansible and we're going to specifically look at Cloud Manager. So the first thing we're going to do is we can uh, install GitHub just to quickly get this uh, down into um, our local machine. Now that we have Git installed, we will uh, do a clone of this workspace. We'll run the git clone command. This YAML file is going to require us to use the module um, EC2. And that requires, let's look at the documentation on that. That requires Python and the Boto module. So we're going to have to do a little bit of configuration to get our environment set up with uh, Python and Boto. And now that we have pip installed, we can use pip to install Boto. Okay, so I already have Boto installed on this particular uh, machine, but if you don't have it installed, uh, then you will need to install it with this command. Now I'm going to use pip to install Ansible. To verify that Ansible was installed correctly, let's type Ansible dash dash version. So we are currently installed with Ansible 2.8.1 and we're using Python version 2.7.14. Now that we have Ansible installed, let's take a look at how we want to run our playbook to deploy Cloud Manager. We're going to start by looking at the readme file. The first thing we want to do is to get a refresh token. Click on this link. All right. What we want to do is generate a refresh token. But which refresh token? There's two that are listed here. Also note that we do need to be logged in as a Cloud Central account. So let's go back. It says generate a refresh token for Cloud Manager. This refresh token will be used to uh, register Cloud Manager with, Cloud, um, with the Cloud Central system. So let's copy this to a clipboard. It's very important that we save this token somewhere because once we leave this page, it's no longer visible. And no longer, you can no longer get to it. So I'm going to put it into a text file. And then let's go back to the readme and, and see what the next steps are for our playbook. Um, essentially, we need to determine where in AWS this is going to be deployed. So we need to provide things like what the VPC is, what the subnet is, what the key pair, the security group. Um, this needs to be pre-created, that security group. Those variables that are listed are to be added to the YAML file itself. But we are also can pass in on the command line some additional variables, like our AWS access key, our secret key, which region we want to uh, install this in. The IAM role is the name of the IAM role that will be generated you don't have to define the name. You can leave it empty, but you at least need to pass in an empty string. And finally, the, this refresh token is going to be used to register Cloud Manager with Cloud Central, and that portal username is your Cloud Central email account. Before we actually run the playbook, let's take a look at the YAML file. We see here at the top the values that we talked about providing in the file the security group, the key pair name, the VPC ID, and subnet ID. Note that the client ID and the auth domain should not be modified. We use the Bodo config file to determine the AMI ID for Cloud Manager. Once we have that information, we are ready to use the Amazon EC2 Ansible module to deploy Cloud Manager using the AMI we determined. 
at the end of the EC2 task, we wait for the secure shell to come up. And then once that's done, we wait for the cloud manager to come up. Note that in these wait tasks, we're using a public DNS name. Therefore, this playbook is written expecting the cloud manager to have a public IP address. If you do not have a public IP address, you can use a private IP address here, but you would have to change this line to be item.private underscore IP underscore address. And of course, you would need connectivity from where you're running the playbook to the private cloud manager IP address. Finally, using the refresh token, the playbook acquires an authorization token. This authorization token is used to register and initialize the deploy cloud manager to your Cloud Central account. Okay, now let's run the Ansible playbook. We need to pass in some variables for the playbook run, like the AWS access key and secret keys for the account, the name you want to give Cloud Manager in AWS. Note that you need to define the name to give the IAM role. If you are fine with the default, you can just pass in an empty string. Also, you need to provide the refresh token so that the authorization token needed for Cloud Manager API calls can be generated. Finally, you need to pass in the name of the NetApp Cloud Central account that is to be associated with this Cloud Manager instance. It takes approximately seven minutes for Cloud Manager to deploy. So I will do a little time lapse on the video here. We get the authorization token using the refresh token, and we retrieve the Cloud Manager IP address from EC2. Then, using that IP and the token, the last step is to use APIs to register and initialize Cloud Manager with NetApp Cloud Central. Now let's log into the deployed Cloud Manager. Enter the IP address of Cloud Manager. I am redirected to Cloud Central to log in. I enter my username and password. We now see Cloud Manager is running. And if we look at the Cloud Manager users, we can see that my Cloud Central account user is associated with this Cloud Manager. Thanks for watching.